Aspen Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about Resistive, Capacitive and Inductive Load Module and its order code is 2223 6220.1.1N So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this Resistive Load So this is the Capacitive Load Panel and this is the Inductive Load Panel and this is the Resistive Load Panel and here we are having the selector switch which we can use for selecting the capacitive, inductive and resistive values. So here you can see that we can rotate it in clockwise direction up to 7 different values. So in capacitance we can get values from 2 mu f to 50 mu f and in inductor we will be getting values from 0.15 Henry to 3 Henry and in resistive load panel we can get values from 225 ohm to 100 ohm now you need to connect this load to the single phase AC supply so that there are two fans which are there in this resistive load so the fans will on so that when we are using this resistive load panel the resistance and the inductor coils and the capacitance that are there inside this resistive load will not get heated and it will be cooled by using these fans And now we will measure the capacitance values. So for that we will connect this multimeter along with this capacitor. So firstly we will keep the switch at first and now we are getting the first value as 2 mu f which is indicated in this panel also. So here you can see all the values that will be getting at select a switch first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh respectively. So at first position we will be getting this value and at second we will be getting this value. Similarly we will be getting the all the values that are written in this selector switch. So here you can see as the selector switch is at first position so we are getting 2 mu f and here also it is written as 2 mu f. Then we will be moving to second selector switch so we are getting approximately 5 mu f now we are getting 10 mu f then at 4 we are getting 15 mu f then at 5 we are getting 20 mu f and you can cross verify the values from here also then at 6 we are getting 30 mu f and at 7 we are getting 50 mu f so similarly you can check the values for inductor load panel also and now we will check the values for resistive load panel so now we will check it for resistive load panel so as this is a three phase load panel so as we have measured the capacitive load panel for the R phase you can do it for R by B phase so for all the three phases you can check the values and you can use this load for three phase now we will do it for resistive and for inductor also you can check the values and you can use accordingly. Now we have kept this multimeter at resistance mode and now we will measure the values. So at first position of the switch we will be getting 225 ohm. So we are getting approximately 227 ohm. Now we will increase it to switch 2 and here we are getting 200 ohm then at switch 3 we will be getting 175 ohm then at switch 4 we will be getting 150 ohm then at switch 5 position we will be getting 125 ohm and at 6 we will be getting 112 ohm and for 7 we will be getting 100 ohm so this is for R phase similarly you can do it for Y phase. So you need to measure the values here and you can use this resistive load with the three phase supply. Now I have kept the switch position at 4 and I am getting the value as 150. Now for 5 I will be getting the value as 125. Similarly I can measure it for B phase. So here you can see that I am getting the values. Thank you. 
so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query regarding this load module you can contact the tesla global website for more product information you can go through the link which is given in the description thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel